Hey guys, in these videos I want to go over the past tense forms that you get in POSA. I've summarized five different past tenses that I've come across, but um, you don't need to be able to use them all actively and even I am unsure sometimes which form is the most appropriate and I think that there is some variation amongst the speakers, but um, I hope you can at least uh, acquaint yourself with these different possibilities and um, and that it becomes a bit more clear. So past tense one is the recent past. It's also sometimes referred to as the perfect past. I um, don't think it's a useful term for it though. Anyway, um, it ends in ile or e. This would be the long form or the short form, just like we have in the present tense when we say in di ya funda or in di funda is it cosa. Um, the past tense has this long form and short form. So if I say I bought, it's di tengile. And if I say I bought something, or if I refer to what I bought or when I bought it, I would use the short form, di tenge isomka nobisi. I bought bread and milk. Di hambile, I left, I went. Di hambe emba kwemini, I went in the afternoon. So, because I'm saying when I went, I use the short form, ndi hambe. And for the negative of this past tense, you again um, start with a, like in the present tense, but instead of the ending being i, andi tengi, I don't buy, you have this negative past ending, which is anga, andi tenga anga, I didn't buy. There is another common way of forming the negative past in spoken Kosa, and that is by just saying kange, which would translate as I've never, and then saying the past tense in the normal form. So you would say kange tengi, ndi tengi ile, kange ndi hambi ile, like I never went, I never bought. Um, so that is also very common instead of this traditional andi tenganga, andi hambanga. Maybe you know the song by Johnny Clegg, Asim Bonanga. And well, now you can also understand what it means. We didn't see him. So we have the negative A, we, him or her, Bona to see, and then the negative past. So Asim Bonanga, we didn't see him. The past tense too is often called the continuous past. Um, I'm not so sure if it's always an applicable term because you can't compare it 100% to the English continuous um, past, but it is pretty pretty similar to that. Um, and it could be translated as I was doing something. It comes from the long form, which isn't used so much in spoken Kosa anymore, but it comes from ndi be ndi, which is I was, be is the past tense of ba to be. Ndi be, ndi, I was, I do something. So like ndi be, ndi la la. But that has been shortened, compressed together to bendi in spoken prosa. And the same for you. So it used to be ube, u, and that just became ubu. So bendi la la would mean I was playing. Ubu la la, you were playing. And there's a difference here between the second and the third person. For the third person, you could say ube or ebe more commonly. Ebe dlala, he or she was playing. Uh, very useful here is the past continuous of the, um, the pronoun ku, which is just the general it. And so beku would be it was, beku nand, it was nice. Or if I use the, the noun class, which starts with i, then the past continuous is ibi, ibim nandi, it was nice. This is also very common. Um, so if you want to remember two forms for this past tense, I would recommend remembering beku and ibi. In tombi, ibi dlala. So the girl, which is the same noun class, she was playing. Ibi dlala. In Kosa, we have a thing called statives, which are translated as normal adjectives in English, busy, hungry, tired, etc. But they come from verbs in Kosa, and the verbs are actually um, more like something that becomes, for instance, would be to become busy, 
and therefore to be busy means that you've already become, you've reached that state of being busy and that's why it is a past tense form. So takekile means I have become busy, in other words I am busy. Or from ukulamba to become hungry, ndilambile, I am hungry. Again, um, dinwa would be to become tired and the past tense ndidiniwe, I am tired. Tabateka, to become impressed, and therefore tabatekile, impressed. Nditrinisekile means I am sure. And then to use these adjectives in the past tense, you need to use the past continuous form because the ending is already a past tense. So, bendi, bendi takekile, I was busy. Bendi lambile, I was hungry. Bendi diniwe, I was tired. Bendi tabatekile and bendi grinisekile. Some useful examples. Bekunjani, how was it? As opposed to kunjani, how is it? Bekunjani. Bekum nandiga kulu, it was very nice. Ibinjani imini yako, how was your day? It was how? The day of yours. Ibim nandi. It was nice. Ibinjani iholide yako. How was your holiday? Ibin kle. Kle means beautiful, like shle. Depends what comes before it. So with ibin kle, we have the same noun class. I could also say ibin nandi. It was nice. And kle and shle mean beautiful or good. Then we have something quite special in Kosa, and this is something that you find in a few other languages too, like um, in Finnish and I believe in Turkish and Arabic as well. And it's called the vowel harmony. So in Kosa, this uh, happens with verbs ending in ala and ana, and basically the the past tense form instead of being libale or libalile it becomes libele, so the, the e um, form, uh, affects the previous a to also become e. It just sounds smoother, it's easier to say. And um, so these verbs don't have a long and a short form. This libele is both the long and the short form. There is a possibility to, to differentiate long and short form by means of accentuation, how you say libele, libele, but that's not so important. So, ndilibele um, means I forgot, ndilele from ukulala, to sleep, ndilele, I slept, ukusala, to stay, and sisele, uh, sorry, that is we stayed, not I stayed. And then um, verbs ending in ana do the same thing, so we have like ukufumana, to get or to find, and ndifumene. I got, ndifumene umyalezo wako, I got your message. Ugudibana is to meet or to meet with. Ndidibene nomshlobo wam, I met up with my friend. And then we have verbs that end in la, that just get le at the end. And again, also these don't have a short and a long form. This is the only form that you will see. So, uguchelela um, is to visit. Ndichelele. I visited ukupendula to answer, um, and then pendule is answered. Pumelela is to succeed or to pass, and pumelele is succeeded. Pelela to tell, to tell someone something. Pelele told. So uh, some more examples with those verbs would be ndilebele ga. Sorry, ndilibele ukuba usebenze apa. I forgot that you work here. Ndilele kamnandi. I slept nicely. Ditemba ukuba nawe ulele kagushle. I hope that also you, you slept well. Namshlanje ndifumene ituba elikulu. Today I got a big tip. Ituba means tobacco and it also means tip. I guess in the olden days. Uh, people gave tobacco as a tip or a cigarette. Um, so I got a uh, tip that is big. 
Izolo sichelele abazali bam. Yesterday we visited the parents of mine. Kange upendule umbuzo wam. You didn't answer my question. So here we have this other version of the past negative, which is kange, never, and then the normal past tense, you answered. Upendule. You, you didn't answer my question. Ndikukelele na. Ndikukelele na. Did I tell you? So I, you, told. Question. Ndiavuya ukuba umtwana upumelele. I am glad that the child passed. Enkosi gakulu ngokubukela. Thank you very much for watching.